If you're using social media for your business, then of course you want your audience to know that you are the best in the industry. So today we're talking about how you can demonstrate expertise using video. Let's get right into it. If you're new here, my name is Liz. I help coaches and consultants add video to their business. Be sure to subscribe so that you never miss any of my future content. So why are we talking about how to demonstrate expertise? Because in fact, since people have started using video more and more, that's when we've all begun to realize that you can use video for a lot of different reasons. You can use it simply to entertain others. You can use it just to let people know about your brand. You can use it just so that you have fun. You can use it just to express your own creativity. You don't necessarily have to use video to demonstrate to people that you are an expert in a topic. However, if you want to use video for your business, and especially if you are a solopreneur or a business owner who works mainly by themselves, then you absolutely have to give your audience the confidence that you know what you're talking about, that you're an authority and an expert in your area. This is one of the best ways to use video, and this is something I tell all of my students to get better at doing. It's one thing to just use video to attract people to your brand, but then once they know about your brand, then what are they gonna do? The only way that they're going to buy something from you is if they feel like you are an expert, an authority in your niche. So today we're talking about some of the things you can do so that your audience is sure that they are in the right place. Let's get right into it. The first thing I recommend you do is always ensure that most of your content is tactical and strategic in nature. So what I mean is try not to fill all of your content with too much theory and too many just high level ideas. The reason for this is when your audience sees that you are talking only theoretically and only high level, they either start to think that you are not enough of an expert to go deeper into the topic or they are left watching your videos and still not having any practical takeaways. Remember back in university, we used to read all the theory in our textbooks and still not know how that would apply in the real life workplace. So it's kind of the same thing. So try to ensure that your content has enough practical takeaways, enough tactical information that they can go and apply right away and enough strategy in it. You really want your viewer to watch that and then have something that they can implement in their own life or their business shortly thereafter. You want them to be able to take action with the material that you've provided to them. That's what gives them the impression that you know what you're talking about. You know it well enough that you can teach it to them in a way that makes sense to them and now they can go and implement it. This really goes a long way towards demonstrating your expertise. Another great way to demonstrate expertise through video is by interacting and engaging with your audience. The very specific reason for this is because everyone in the world knows that only an expert can speak in real time about a topic. It's one thing to get questions off of the internet and then try to answer them later at your own convenience. That doesn't demonstrate expertise because anyone could think that you found those answers somewhere and then posted them online. On the other hand, if you're in a live stream and people ask you questions, if you are able to answer them, that means you know the topic. You are making it clear there that you are able to field questions about a topic and answer them comfortably and accurately. This really, really demonstrates authority and expertise. This is one of the reasons why people host live streams and they host webinars and master classes because they are teaching in a live environment. They are showing that they can deep dive into that topic and they are making themselves available to answer the questions and hear the comments of the audience. If you are really an expertise in that topic, you will be able to navigate that type of conversation. It's only if you're not an expert that you wouldn't be able to. So try to show up live like this so that you can show that you are an expert. Now we're interrupting this video so that I can remind you to subscribe. I think you should do that first. And if you are interested in getting started with video sooner rather than later, I really recommend that you have a look in the description below. Click on the link for a free resource that I will send you right away and you can get started with video this week itself. Now let's get back to our video. Another great thing that you can do is demonstrate the results that you've gotten for others. You can do this in a couple of different ways. You can ask for some of your past clients to provide you with testimonials, but if you specifically want to do it with video, then you can jump on a video call, like a Zoom call with one of your past clients or someone that you've done some work with, have a little bit of a very open-ended conversation with them about how they felt about the service that they received from you and what were some of the benefits, how it transformed their life and their business, and then that just 
just let them speak about it and then be there to kind of prompt with different type of questions that would add value to your audience. When your audience watches that type of video, they can tell just by watching your client's facial expressions that they mean what they say and that they truly enjoyed working with you. It sometimes helps just to have another person validate your expertise. It's one thing for you to show up all the time and tell people what an expert you are and how well you know the topic. But when someone else says that and someone else describes the experience they had working with you, that's just another extra layer of validation and verification. It's the same reason why we're always looking for Amazon reviews before we actually buy anything. Even though we don't know any of the people that left the reviews, we just feel a little bit better that someone else has validated this thing before we jump into it. Another thing you can do to demonstrate expertise using video is to be willing to go deep on topics. Too many coaches and consultants nowadays are just talking at the surface level and they're just talking about step one or step two. But pick a few topics that you know would be of interest to your audience and then dive a little bit deeper. Spend time doing the research. Try to understand different viewpoints of it. Think about the impact of that to your audience and then provide some different perspectives on it. That way you become known as someone who is taking time to do analysis on different areas and then sharing those results and your opinions with your audience. Everybody always wants the real goods when it comes to a topic. Nobody just wants to know all the superficial stuff that they can just find on the front page of Google. So if you are willing to deep dive on some topics, you will be able to shift the perspective of your audience on some topics. You might make them aware of some different angles to a topic that they never thought about. And you might even make it clear to them that they have some pain points that they never even realized they had. So you can only do that if you yourself dive deep into the topics so that you can expose all of those extra pieces of analysis to them. And one of my favorite ways to demonstrate expertise through video is to leverage storytelling and talk about your own life. Most of the time, if you are able to tell the behind the scenes, your own journey, your own transformation about how you became an expert in this topic, your audience will really click into the fact that you've gone through the entire process yourself, that you were once at a place that they are probably in now and that you understand the journey really well. It's really hard to demonstrate that level of understanding to your audience unless you are willing to kind of expose some more about your personal story. There might be some reasons why you ended up in this niche in the first place. You yourself might have struggled in some areas and then found some solutions for yourself. And now you have an opportunity to teach those solutions to other people. So when you explain it from your own vantage point is when they understand that you're a person just like them. You're not just selling them something out of a box that you learned about somewhere. It is something that you've experienced yourself. Remember that today in the days of AI, people are very, very worried and wary about hiring people like you and me without knowing whether we actually know this topic or not. There are too many people using YouTube and social media putting out AI chat GPT style content without actually knowing the material really well. And the drawback of all of this is that it's the audience members that are getting burned. They are the ones that are handing over their hard earned money to coaches who are online just putting out content via chat GPT that don't really know the topic at all. So you really, really want to do your best in these days coming forward to demonstrate to your audience that you are the real deal. The things that you show up on video and talk about are things that you know from your personal experience. You've worked with others to help them overcome this and you can help them too. At all costs, you want your audience to understand that you are not showing up on video immediately after getting off of ChatGPT and learning that topic. Now, frankly, I have nothing against AI and I use ChatGPT for a lot of different things, but I talk about video marketing from my own experience of using video, not about something that AI has created for me. So that's what makes the difference for my clients as well. Eventually, your clients have to end up in a meeting with you or in a Zoom call with you or receiving coaching from you. You're not going to be able to deliver the results if you're not an expert and that's what they want to know. So if you like today's video, I hope that you will give it a like, share it off with one of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe because every single Tuesday, I bring you a new video teaching you how you can add video to your business. So until next time, take care.